viruses part 4 in this part we are going to look at multiplication of bacterial phases for any virus to multiply or reproduce or replicate it must invade a host cell and take over the host metabolic machinery phases can be multiplied by two alternative mechanisms one is lytic cycle and next one is lysogenic cycle the lytic cycle ends with lysis or death of the host cell whereas the host cell remains alive in lysogenic cycle. Let's look lytic cycle. Five step process are involved in lytic cycle. First one is attachment, second one penetration, third one biosynthesis, fourth one maturation or assembly, fifth one is release. Step 1 is called as attachment phase. The phase uses the tail fibers for attachment to the complementary receptor sites on the bacterial cell wall. Step 2 Penetration During which the tail sheath of the phase contracts and the tail core is driven in to the bacterial cell wall. When the tip of the core reaches the plasma membrane, the DNA from the bacterial phase head passes through the tail core through the plasma membrane and enters the bacterial cell. The capsid remains outside the bacterial cell and is referred as ghost. Thus, the bacterial particle functions like a hypodermal syringe and injects its DNA into the bacterial cell. Step 3. Biosynthesis once the phase DNA reaches the cytoplasm of the host cell, many copies of phase DNA, enzymes and capsid proteins are synthesized using the cellular mechanism of the host cell. Complete phases cannot be found in the host cell, but individual DNA and protein components can be detected in this stage. Step 4. Assembly In this process, Bacteriophase DNA capsids are assembled into complete virions. It takes time. The time between the infection by a virus and appearance of the mature virus within the cell is called as eclipse period. Step 5 is release. This is the final stage of viral multiplication. In this, the host cell and the release of virions from the host cell occurs. The plasma membrane of the host cell gets dissolved or lysed due to a viral enzyme called lysozyme, which is synthesized within the cell. The bacterial cell wall breaks, releasing the newly produced phase particles or virions. Lysogenic cycle Some bacterial phases, such as lambda phase, do not cause lysis and death of the host cell when they multiply. The lambda phase adsorbs to the target cell. The phase DNA upon penetration gets integrated into the circular bacterial DNA, becomes a part of it and remains latent or inactive. Such phases are called as temperate phases. The inserted phase DNA is now called as prophase. Every time the bacterial genetical material replicates, the prophase also undergoes replication. The prophase remains latent within the progeny cell. When the host cell is exposed to UV light or some chemicals, the phase DNA separates from the bacterial genetic material, leading into initiation of lytic cycle. Let us see some terminologies we come across the process of lysogenic and lytic cycle. Virions. Virion is a completely assembled virus outside its host cell. Virioid. Virioid is a tiny fragment of nucleic acid with 300 to 400 nucleotides and with a protein protective coat. Can, this can cause disease in plants. Prions. These are proteinaceous infectious particles. 
which are tend to cause some animal diseases. Eclipse period. The time period between the infection by a virus and the appearance of the mature virus within the cell is called eclipse period. Birth size. The number of newly synthesized bacteriophage particles released from a single affected host cell. Latent infection. A condition in which a pathogen remains in the host for a long period without causing any disease symptoms. Viral diseases in plants. Viruses being obligate parasites cause diseases to the plants while growing inside them. These are systematic in nature affecting the whole plant. The leaves generally exhibit characteristic symptoms. For example, chlorosis, example peach yellowing disease, mosaic, example tobacco mosaic diseases, vein clearing, example bendy vein clearing, mall formation, example swollen shoot of coca, and last breaking of flower, example tulip mosaic break. Viral diseases in human beings. Viruses cause a widespread of diseases in human beings, such as commonly known as common cold, hepatitis, chickenpox, influenza, herpes, polio, etc. Although most of the viral infections do not cause death, some viruses such as AIDS, Ebola have high mortality rates. Other viruses called polio virus, neonatal rubella can lead to physical weakness. Some viruses such as Epstein-Barr virus and human papillomavirus can cause cancer in animals and human beings. Chronic hepatitis B virus caused by hepatitis may lead to cancer. Such cancers causing viruses are called as oncoviruses. Not only viruses but also proteinaceous infectious particles called prions cause some serious animal diseases such as mad cow disease in cows and scrapier disease in sheep. The mad cow disease causing prion may reach to man through beef and cause Grunzenfeld-Jakob disease in man.